Last year, we started making a film about New Orleans music, something we know something about. But this year, it turned out we were making a film about something no one knows anything about. This weekend's a little harder than others. While everyone's been missing the big festivals, this weekend we'd normally be putting on our own very small festivals, with a headliner act named Mom. But the ways we're used to celebrating Mother's Day are closed to us now. The big all-day cookouts at the park are out. Even if we're family, it's best we don't share everything right now. Some moms enjoy a nice jazz brunch at a fancy restaurant, but they're closed, and the band can't play either. Our all-time favorite Mother's Day outing, Irma Thomas's annual concert for moms at the zoo, that ain't gonna happen. No way we are putting Irma Thomas in danger. Thank you very much. We'll talk a little bit more about mom But first, we're running late to catch up on last week's news. And we finally got the Blue Angels this week, going through our wild blue yonder. This following the Air Force's B-52 flyover, the Archbishop's Easter flyover, Rabbi Erdheim's Passover flyover, the St. Bernard Parish President's float plane flyover. We hope these lift the morale of our medical workers and first responders. But we also hope governments can soon honor them with more protective equipment. The Miami-based Norwegian Cruise Lines, which berthed ships in New Orleans, told investors this week that its prospects were uncertain. Norwegian was among the lines least affected by the pandemic, with only one positive case of the virus each on three of its ships. It's simply a casualty of the industry's crash, along with, most likely, the business that it brought the city. The mayor took a somewhat baffling tactic against the disease this week when she announced that traffic along Bayou St. John in Mid-City would be restricted. In theory, to allow more room for social distancing, Residents had mixed reviews of the change, some hoping the traffic would actually get lighter, and others fearing the move would only attract more people from other neighborhoods who might or might not observe proper distancing, mask wearing, etc. Speaking of neighborhoods, the city released a map showing the areas in which the highest concentrations of infection are found. One hot spot that sticks out is the neighborhood east of the Lakefront Airport. Because the state has stopped announcing care facilities with cases, it's not clear whether the hotspot is the neighborhood itself or a concentration in an assisted living facility in the area. The best way, of course, to determine neighborhood spread is with testing. And a new walk-up testing site in New Orleans East opened this week. No matter the day or the week, Every neighborhood pauses at noon to hear the new numbers. As of Sunday, Louisiana reports 31,600 positive cases in the state, with 1,321 people in hospital and 161 requiring ventilators. 2,213 Louisianians have died of the virus. New Orleans no longer represents a quarter of cases, as testing and, of course, the virus itself reaches farther into other parishes.
This holiday is hard, not just because we're forced to stay distanced from those we love, but because we're forced to look at whether just saying I love you or bringing flowers is enough. Few people are more vulnerable to COVID-19 than the elderly. The state's heaviest death tolls, as in other places, have been found in our nursing homes. We love them, but we're not protecting them very well. With all the arguments over reopening business and different rules in different places, people are quick to talk about what they miss and what they want. But what about mom? The less we move around, trying to recreate our normal lives, the less likely she is to get sick. And the longer we can keep our infection rate low enough for our hospitals to handle it, the more likely it is she'll get help. So this year, if you really want to give mom something special, spend the holiday where it means the most, at home. And it's not all darkness and deprivation. Arno's Kitchen made all their Mother's Day brunch specials for pickup. And they even hired Jerry Embry's three-piece combo to serenade customers when they drove in, at a distance. Doing the right thing doesn't mean you can't do anything. Though the details may have changed, we can still have Mother's Day. And if we stay mindful, we can still have mom, too. This is a hard time, a time of loss and difficulty. But as always here, while we acknowledge the loss, we celebrate the joy that follows. And with that, we'll let the band play out. Happy Mother's Day, all. Until next time, we wish you good health and good friends.